Hello guys, welcome. So in this video, we'll see how to set this update mode to manual so that whenever you are trying to open a file, uh, it, it is helpful. So I'll show you what I mean here with this example. So here I have a simulation and uh, it takes around a minute to cook. Let's say I have saved the simulation at 1030. Uh, when I when I my, when my play bar is at 1030 and my update mode is set to auto update. So let's say I have saved this file like this, and uh, now I'll try to open the file again from a new file. So uh, so let's try to do that. So as you can see, this cooks from 1001 to 1030 when I'm trying to open the file because the playhead is here at 1030, so it has to update all the frames before it reaches here. This might be a really a problematic thing when you have really heavy scene. In this case, I just have a one minute sim, but you can imagine if you have really big simulation and you have accidentally saved it like this, uh, that will be really painful to load. Uh, you can actually force kill the process by hitting escape multiple times and uh, it will error out. Sometimes it might crash with me, so that is not a safe way to handle the file. So that's why we are going to utilize Python to do that. You can also do one more thing. Um, let's try to do that. So if you set this ma to manual before opening the file uh, in in a new file, this will also work. So let's try to open that. Yeah, as you can see, it is already set to manual because we have set to manual before opening the file. So that is that will also work, but uh, that is also not the uh, <coughs> best way to do that because sometimes you might forgot to do that as well. That will result in crash. So let's see how to do this in Python in a much more stable way. I'm going to save this and oh, oh sorry, I have to set this to auto update and I'll go to last frame just to check uh, when you are done, when we are done with the Python thing, the, we can just check the same file if it is working. So yeah, we have we have now the sim done, and I'm going to just save the file. So as you can see, I have saved it at 1030, and the update mode is set to auto update. Let's close Houdini. So let's go into the documents folder. Inside that, you will find this Houdini uh, version, whichever version you are using. Just open that file, that uh, folder, and then here we can create a new folder called scripts in here let's create a new text document and jump inside that and just save it as a python file so the name should be 456.py and the save type should be all files so if you do this correct and just hit save you should see that a python file but, uh, you can verify that by seeing the type here is set to pi, whereas this one is set to text document. I don't need the text document anymore. And let's just open the 456.py. Yep, we have the 456 now. So, what is this 456.py? So, this is a script which Houdini automatically runs before it, before it opens any Houdini scene. Uh, there is one more script which is 123.py. We can also create that if we want that. 123.py, which is also uh, Houdini, uh, Houdini can understand this file as well. Uh, this says, this 123.py says, whenever you are opening a fresh Houdini session, like this, when you when you click your icon and open a fresh Houdini session, session this uh, 123 will run. If you are opening a file, uh, by clicking, by double clicking your file from Explorer, or if you are opening a file from your uh, file menu, then this 456 will run. This 456 will ought also run when you are opening a new session. So I think this is uh, more useful than 123, but sometimes this might also help. So let's delete the 123 and just keep 456. Let's try to print. Hello world. 
just to verify if it is working correctly. So if we open Houdini file or Houdini session, you should see that it prints hello world before it opens. Yeah, as you can see, it prints hello world. That means our 456 is working. We can also verify by opening some other files and you can see it again prints hello world here. So that means our script is working. Uh, whenever we are opening some new file, this particular uh, script, whatever we type here is going to run. So we know that now we can set many things using this 456. We are just going to focus on setting the manual uh, mode in this video. We can use the same uh, setup to set different defaults using the same 456. So in this video, we'll see just how to update the manual mode, how to set the update mode to manual. So I just copy pasted the small script here, uh, which says just set the update mode to manual. So that is very simple. You need to import the whole module. Import. Just type import to before you uh, type this one. So that Houdini will know that uh, you have to import the foo module before it runs the script. So that's it actually. So just save it. And if you open the Houdini file, now we should see that it sets the update mode to manual automatically. As you can see, it is on manual. So I haven't say, set this to auto. It automatically like picks from the script. Uh, it just says that you have to set that to manual. So let's try to open our Chrome Splash to just verify the verify the script is working. As you can see, it loads immediately because the update mode is automatically set to manual when you are trying to open Houdini file. So that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope that is useful. See you again next time.